Welcome back, listeners. You are back with Supergirls and the Hero Whispers. Here with Chief Supergirl, Jeannie Marie, and we have a banging show tonight. Wait till you hear who the guest is. But before that, I just want to kind of give a heads up and a 411 if you're new to the show. The Hero Whispers is a podcast for Supergirls, which is a platform created to inspire and empower young college women to launch from college to life. And the Hero Whispers is all about them. They're heroes. And how we help them become heroes, help them launch, give them the tools they need for the real world, like career clarity, networking skills, money management, and personal branding, and whatever it is else that they need, like mentorship, perhaps. So the Hero Whispers gives us an opportunity to speak to them live and other women that may inspire them on their journey. And uh, it gives me great pleasure tonight to introduce Jazzy J. I call her Jazzy J. Her real name is <laughs> Jasmine. Welcome to the show, Jazzy. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Jasmine. Good to meet all of you. Um, Jeannie loves to call me Jazzy J, which I'll take as well. <laughs> <laughs> Reason being, we met at a workshop that we were doing and for the women, some women of uh, her business major group at Gordon College. And she was just shining like a bright star. Jazzy, Jazzy, Jazzy. She was super bold. So that's where I, we got that. And it's stuck. Um, I love to give people nicknames, but let me give you a little <laughs> background on her. Uh, it's she's quite the accomplished woman already at her young age of 21. Her English name is Jasmine Yi. Her Chinese name is Yinan, which means the land of milk and honey. How cool is that? Born in China, thanks. She says, "I only spent half of my <laughs> life in my homeland. I followed my parents to Singapore." in elementary school and came to the United States for high school in Chicago and college in Boston. During college, I got to study abroad at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. In between breaks, I traveled all over the world to Korea, Vietnam, UK, etc. I consider myself a fusion of Eastern and Western culture. It took me a long while to finally find the balance between my Eastern and Western identities. I love to compare the Eastern culture to tea and Western culture to milk. Now that I can fully embrace myself as a cup of milk tea, that is able to clearly distinguish the tea and the milk part of myself, and it happens to be my favorite drink. Because of various studying abroad experience, I was invited by the International Student Network, founded by my high school, WayNet, to share about my experience back in my hometown, Yemen. China to attract more prospective students and parents. The more I did it, the better I got at public speaking and convincing people to study abroad. Four years into that process, at the end of my freshman year, my city men has become the biggest international student population that is attending the Waynet high schools. Later on, I was invi invited by Waynet's English summer camp and another similar camp the following year to be the communications coordinator. Currently, I am a senior, double majoring in business and economics, minoring in mathematics at Gordon College. Due to my multicultural experiences, I started to realize the impact of businesses in people's lives. So I started a venture model with my partner, Caleb, and ended up winning the entrepreneurial competition in Gordon College with our venture, Shudong, which is an online peer support app designed for incoming international college students. <clears throat> Through this experience, I got to meet many business professionals and became fascinated about corporate business, venture capital, and finance. I am still looking for a job, but I am excited to work for an international firm where I can bring value to that firm that seeks not only profit maximization, but also to enrich social welfare and cultural diversity. Wow. That is all I have to say. Jazzy J. Wow. Wow. Okay. Thank so you. So <laughs> already she's big is influencing uh, people in in America. She's not even a, an American native, and she's influencing populations with her 
connections in China, amazing. I love your big goals and dreams. And it's just fantastic to hear how you're influencing people already, which is like, you know, the essence of being successful is knowing how to influence people. So Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. I am excited to share your story with all of our listeners. And I want to start by talking. You're welcome. I I want to start by (laughs) talking about me. (laughs) Oh my gosh. How could I not with all this crazy stuff? I want to talk about your huge win with Shu Dong. Um, Mm -hmm. because it's obviously quite a need. We have so many, the growth of international college student population is, you know, exploding here in the U S obviously. So this is definitely a need. So like, how did you get inspired for this? Can you tell us the story? Yeah. So, um, yeah, to start with, I came back from studying abroad in Scotland in the university of Edinburgh and I met with a lot of um, very accomplished, um, high, you know, um, work ethic students um, and became friends with them. And I was so inspired by what they're doing with their life. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be average anymore. I wanted to do something <laughs> special and at least significant to myself. So I came back to Gordon and I heard about the social venture challenge, which is the entrepreneurship challenge opportunity. And I was like, uh, is it worth the time? Because it's a huge time commitment to do market research, um, interviews, and building a business model that's, um, you know, that's um, reasonable and workable with the $5,000 prize, which I would never have thought I would get. So um, at the very last day, I decided, well, you know, Jasmine, you needed to do something and not just be um, jealous about other people. So I decided to apply and um, the first thing, the first question that came to my head is like, what am I going to do with, like, what am I creating that will be impactful um, for the society that I, the part of the society that I care about? Um, and as an international student um, from China, I've seen like 100, 200 international students coming into the U.S. And a lot of them actually had to leave the U.S. because of, because of multiple reasons. And some of them you know, um, had to leave because of their family, financial problems. Some of them left because they're not satisfied with their experience in the U.S. And some of them just left because they um, couldn't accomplish um, their academic um, expectation and was sent to China because um, by their parents. So um, I wanted to make an impact and at least to help even one international student to be able to, like, uh, to, um, you know, uh, conquer that, that difficulty and um, be able to finish their um, plan and their, um, you know, great life goal in America and at least finish their college life. So I started um, to think about what are the difficulties that I've been through and what the difficulties that I've witnessed. And I, me, me and my partner, Caleb, who is very, very passionate about China, we started the venture called Shu Dong. Um, Shu Dong is a means a tree hole, and it came from a Greek myth where um, it's a place to tell the secret about um, your deepest um, fear and um, well, that's so something cool. that you cannot, <laughs> yeah, that cannot be spoken. So people, um, you would go to the tree hole and they would talk about what they their struggle is but i wanted to make that tree hole a um some somewhere that they can actually seek help from instead of just telling their secret to so um we created this um, prototype uh, business model and um that helps international students connect with someone who is also a uh, international student from their same hometown who is also studying in the u.s So, for example, um, someone from uh, UCLA, a freshman, would be connected to another freshman um, of their choice um, who um, is a sophomore. And because they're from the same country, they can speak their language and they can be comfortable with helping each other and talking to each other. Um, The helper, the sophomore person who um, will be going through my mentorship program training, can um, answer questions from this freshman and help them um, conquer the difficulties um, that they face 
when they first come to the U.S. and be able to thrive um, later in life. And they can also build a relationship um, between themselves. So, yeah, that is um, pretty much the how I um, want to shoot on to become. And throughout the, the, the competition, a lot of uh, mentors who are um, venture builders and um, business um, professionals gave us a lot of um, their their ideas, their critiques, and yeah, we ended up um, winning the game. And um, what's most exciting about this um, idea is that we are actually going to um, start the app very soon in June because we're writing. Um, we have our some of our friends writing codes, and um, we're currently building prototypes. Um, between Gordon College and another school that's kind of confidential right now. <laughs> so um, that's going to be what's going to happen. I'm really, really excited. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm really, really grateful for um, people who had helped us along the way and encouraged me, even like my roommate who listened to my pitch literally every day. And she even complained about how I um, was practicing my pitch when I was sleeping. <laughs> and um yeah you got really, like really, into really it. you got so into it you're dreaming about it that's amazing yeah I I've practiced like more than 100 times about my pitch and at the end I think we went because we're so good at telling our stories that we practice for you know hundreds of times so yeah I'm just really grateful for everyone who has encouraged me helped me and even critiqued me throughout the process so this app is really happening and it's being built right now and it's going to launch. This is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. So whoever is, whoever is um, interested in, um, you know, getting to know this pro this um, product can feel free to contact me. <laughs> I mean, you're, I know, I know we talked and I know you're looking for other jobs in, in, in finance because that's what you're studying, but Mm -hmm. This could perhaps be its own career as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, because I am a student <laughs> and I don't have much uh, resources or connections in the U.S. comparing to the other uh, the other um, entrepreneurs um, that I know, so I wanted to kind of build my um, build my career on something um, somewhere that I can. Um, quickly gather all the um, resources and networks that can help me eventually, um, you know, um, launch this career and make it successful and um, at least helpful to some students who are using it. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to, um, you know, start my career at finance. That is so, it's just so inspiring. I mean, I, you know, I know, we talked about that, that you were looking for something in finance. How are you, how is that going for you? Are you investigating different types of finance or uh, what are you kind of focusing on right now? Yeah. So, um, so the reason why I wanted to do finance is not only to gather in, like resources for my own venture, but also I, um, I wanted to pursue the ESG investing, which means like, socially responsible investing because after the social venture challenge, which is the entrepreneurship challenge, I realized that um, having a successful business who can, that can benefit the society in different ways, they have to be um, financially free and um, people have to be um, financially independent in order to pursue their dreams. So I wanted to make that happen. And I, realize how important that is in every single business model and people's lives. So, yeah, therefore, I wanted to be a part of this change um, by investing in um, socially responsible um, companies and um, also helping um, even individuals to, uh, to achieve their financial goals. So currently, I'm, in that, I'm interested in both like investment banking and financial advising. And I'm still looking into that and talking to um, some professionals. And thank you, Jeannie, for um, 